I am unnaturally excited for this show, bro. The end. All oh, the the end. All right. Ready to be of service, madam. <laughs> Mr. Handy. Focus on the party, okay? Bro, why are you having a party when that's on the news? Okay, right, so really quickly, I am absolutely a a fanboy of uh, Fallout. I'm not really a fanboy of Todd Howard though, but I'm a definitely a fanboy of Fallout. I've played it. For the most part, every single game from Fallout 3 forward, except for Fallout 76, I have not just, I've not gotten into it for some reason, guys. I think I tried to play it when it first came out, uh, but it was just like a bad thing. I think it was terrible at the time, like every single Fallout game in existence. When they first come out, you know, they, they just throw it to us, us as peasants, right? <laughs> they just throw it to us and say, listen, it's here, but it's broken, right? Absolutely broken, but let's go ahead and See where this takes us, guys. I'm absolutely excited again. Again, I just want you guys to know the the, the level of excitement that's here. <laughs> what else? Alimony. <laughs> oh. What they say, Dad? Hmm. And I'm lucky to have such a good helper like you. Yes, that's exactly what they said. All right, you ready? Why not? That's what you're famous for. Drop yeah. it, Bob. Wow. We gotta. We gotta get this rodeo on the road. Pleasure is all mine, ma'am. I hope your son had a lovely birthday. Perfect. All right, so we're definitely running into someone who had once uh, obviously had some type of fame. Uh, he no longer has fame. He's a fallen star for the most point. More, most part here uh, he's stuck doing uh you know kids parties and things like that guys um listen he still has to work regardless of uh you know if he was once uh, something and he's now not yeah. i mean Who's don't make fun of the man bro. Oh, that's crazy i still took my money all right, so so okay, so we're guessing that he's most likely a communist, uh, and these are, are, are common typical capitalists, guys. Uh, no, he still took my money. All right, that's <laughs> guys, that's great symmetry, and also as of right now, filmed beautifully. Los Angeles sunshine. Sugar bomb. The barbarian. And the Rock the barbarian. Sugar bombs. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be amazing. Uh, all right. I definitely do not like the fact that everyone is oblivious, but I think this is the uh, the common typical like mainstay attitude that um, that kind of happens uh, whenever we do see anything post-war in uh, in Fallout in the Fallout world itself, guys. Uh, I love the Nuka Cola, bro. I think that's everything. And if the cloud is smaller than you thought, you can run for the hills, right? Bigger than your son? Just stand there. It doesn't even matter. They told us not to bother running. Right. And guys, keep this in mind. Now, the, the the entire realm or world of Fallout runs uh, somewhat parallel. I do think that it's uh, slightly ahead of our universe, right? But um, it runs side by side to us, let's say. Because, um, they still like a lot of nuclear power like, like, like in everything, guys, right? But all right, let's get it. Nuclear powered airplanes. <laughs> Their world is a wild one. Is it your thumb yeah. or mine? What happened? His eyes are two different colors. The hexachromia? Bro, what are we looking at? Oh, I see the reflection. Bro, this is filmed so well, bro. <sighs> Yeah, that's not smoke. That's not smoke. It's bigger than your thumb, too. Okay, well, it's too close. Oh, the obliviousness of these people are wild. Ah, uh, but it's coming. You're affected. Fallout shelters. Yeah, that's about what would happen, bro. Like, guys, your friends during the good times, but during the bad, I don't know. W would you risk your family for that? Good. Let's say you built a, you built the fallout shelter, and you obviously have enough resources to support your family exclusively uh, in that shelter. Do you allow other people to come in just because you're friends? I don't know, guys. Do you risk your family having less time to stay alive, guys? Oh. Yep. Multiples. Multiple. 
Bros. Bros. Guys. Guys, we have we have a Fallout TV show, bro. Do you do you understand what this means? My primary passion is teaching American history with a focus on ethics. Okay. I also participate and I dabble in riflery. So I'm not very good. You're pretty good. You're pretty good with a, with a, with a pipe pistol. I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. At least one I'm not. How? I don't even understand, bro. B bro. All right, this is a this is a solid eleven and a half. Not related to everywhere. All right, normally you know you come down, it comes down to it, and you're just like, listen, all right, you you're a ten in, you know, Mississippi. You're a Mississippi ten, but are you a ten in California? I don't know. Yes, she is eleven in basically everywhere. And we have rules about that. Annual trade with Vault Thirty Two. Hmm. Vault Thirty Two. Okay. I want a pit boy, bro. I want one bad. Um, I don't think I'd, I want to be seen walking outside the house with it, right? But I definitely want a pit boy. Like maybe when I can hold like my iPhone or something good. Lucy is her name, all right. Hmm. Her skills are solid. I mean, I definitely would have preferred a little bit more intelligence stat. Um, you know, absolutely. Uh, and I like the science stat also, that works. Um, I normally would have probably flushed into uh, like lock picking a little bit more, but either way. These are all the people who got married in that dress. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. Oh, <laughs> very forward. Okay. Don't lose your head. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm excited for the real th cousin stuff. Yeah, basically. She's probably related to like 90% of the vault, bro. That's nasty. All right, so rule number one here. We have to definitely find out what exactly is going on in this vault. Uh, what was the purpose of this vault? Like, what is, what are they testing on these people? All right, that's rule number one. It seems pretty normal and that's weird, bro. CGI looks amazing. My little sugar bomb. <laughs> My little sugar bomb. When did it go away? The moment I met your mother. 31. From that moment on, Vault 31 was a distant memory to me. What was in your vault? What was your vault about? Oh. Aren't you lucky having uh, your 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 parent as the overseer? Bro, I don't trust overseers though, bro. There's something weird going on. Must be okay, brother. I'm Husband sorry. Norman. Sorry, Dad. A man's butt? <laughs> bro, what happened? Probably best if we reschedule with the 32s until maintenance and I can. Yeah. What's going on? Lucy, I love you. Okay. We all know that, Jet. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not what? a sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? Right. It's, yeah, not know. It's, <laughs> it's not sustainable. But just try not to do that in the first place, bro, all right? We all have eyes, we see this. Lee Moldaver, overseer of 32. Why is your jacket dirty? Thank you for your hospitality. Like oh, we were sorry to hear of over parts for machinery. In exchange, we offer you a breeder. So. A breeder. <laughs> who am I marrying? Do you have a name? Monty. Monty. Okay, what was the experiment? Oh, wow. And that was disrespectful to your husband. All right. I don't like these people, bro. Like whatever test that they are running in 32 is absolutely, I don't know, terrible. It's weird, bro. It's weird. Um, I don't think that 32 and 33 really have anything to do with each other, bro. Um, the energy is off, bro. Look at how they're eating. Uh, 32 is extremely, you know, normal. 
right? While 33, while the people from 32 are basically taking things from other people's plates. They're looking at food and they're like, what is this food? Let me eat it off of someone else's plate. So what's your sperm count? Which is, oh, she's, they're both interested. You're both. That the next generation, Lucy and Monty's children, will be able to recolonize. <laughs> oh, no. Well, after 200 years. Like, recolonize what exactly? Like, you, you do what? Oh, do they not know what's going on on the surface? Um, I mean, I get it. We're, we're way far ahead in time here. Um, but you have to know that there are all types of things outside, like super mutants. All right. <laughs> and all types of irradiated animals and things like that, bro. Uh, you have raiders. You have wastelanders. Right. You have all types of things, bro. You have the Brotherland of Steel. You have, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, like the NCR. Guys, you have so many things that are out there right now. You gonna recolonize what, bro? What are we talking about? To Lucy McLean and to this marriage and to hope. Well, that was a solid wedding speech, bro. <laughs> Hit it. Guys, the ones that are coming from Vault 32 cannot dance. At all. This is us. Why is the Overseer from 32 so strange? Like, her mannerism is, is just weird. Uh, isn't it great? Well, he's ready. Okie dokie. Just keep that coffee hot. <laughs> no time wasted. He is uh, absolutely all scarred up. Yeah, so guys, whatever test they're running in 32. This way to 32. Okay, so how were they sustaining themselves, guys? Absolute blight. Like she stated, a deep scar. Yeah, this vault has failed, bro. Okay. All right, guys. Something weird is absolutely going on here. I am not sure. I don't. I don't. Let, let's go. Let, let's see where this takes us. Raiders. He's a raider, bro. Yeah, Vault 32 failed. Absolutely. Okay, so let me theorize a little bit. So Vault 32 absolutely failed. All right, it did. Um, and somehow these these individuals gained access to 32. But how? Oh! Oh, oh I felt that. Distraction. Well, that's that. <laughs> but that's also that. I'm not sure I would have personally pulled it out immediately like that. Ah, oh, the stim pack. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. Just give it a couple of seconds. She'll be right as rain. <laughs> What do you do? I have been in this situation so many times in Fallout. Like, what do you do? Okay, so listen, bro, I have a blade. Do I get rid of my blade for the random pistol, bro? I'll take the pistol. I'll take it. That was a tranquilizer. Yeah. Right. Mm. Is it interesting? The sign behind her says, don't lose your head as this guy then loses his head. Interesting. But what kind of dart was that? You may dream 
Bro, you are lucky. She's the leader. No doubt. Oh, she lost her husband. Please don't make me use force. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bro, run. Run. That's how... That's, that's one way to do it. That's, that's, that's one way. <laughs> Yeah, just go ahead and yeah, yeah. Just stay there, bro. Look at that damage. As the show was filmed astonishingly. Okay, go ahead and dispatch. Dispatch him. I mean that's kind of a waste of the Tatoes, guys. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. Okay, I don't. But do they know who they are? Do they know they who they are? are the product. Them or her. Okay, he's obviously gonna choose her. Help us stop! You are my world. Wrong. You look like your mother. You look like your mother? How do you know her mother? You should see it sometime. Oh, <laughs> to the surface? Oh, wait. Stop. Maybe you should do what you do best. Stop. Run and hide. Oh, come on, bro. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure that's valid here. Maybe you should do what you do best, run and hide. I mean, I get it. Uh, their ancestors did that. They they ran and they hid in, in the vault, right? Uh, they're safe here. Why would they want to not be safe? But yeah, run and hide right now, though, specifically. Yeah, that'll never seal again correctly. Let's see the damage though. Maximus. All right, so, okay, so we're being introduced to main characters, I'm guessing. Hey. Flesh is weak, but steel endures. I, I mean, she's right. So, so here, here we have uh, Brotherhood of Steel, obviously. Um, that's what we're encountering, Brotherhood of Steel. Where the similar air base like the uh, the Boomers were. Darling, when she home. The Boomers, uh, was it uh, Fallout 3? It is the duty of the Brotherhood of Can you identify this relic? It's, uh, Bruder. Oh, he's having a Suck bad it. day. The ability to defend yourself is but one part of your training. Bro, I remember when, uh... Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, definitely Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. yeah like, like, I remember the first time you actually see this happening while you're playing Fallout 4. Mind-blowing scenario, guys. Mind-blowing. model is that? It's the T60. T60. Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. T60 was always my favorite. I wonder why they're here. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Come on, I got something I want to show you. The tree. Um... I'm not sure you should be inside of this building. Oh, all over again. I, 
honestly think that they that they think that that's what basketball was. <laughs> oh, guys. Bro, what is this man doing right here? A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. Hey, okay. what's your title going to be? Squire. Squire, Tonight probably. Titus. And get this, we're going to the wild. Hell yeah. Yeah, hopefully nothing splashes back, bro. Hey. All right, so he's obviously jealous of her, bro. Obvious. Right? I mean, she, uh, you know, got uh, a promotion and he didn't and they're friends. Um, but you, you, you generally should be, you know, someone happy that your friend uh, is also reaching some type of success, bro. All right. Don't be this guy. What happened? What happened? Oh, so I put a razor blade in Oh, that's wild. That's wild. Hmm. Well, they think it's him. I don't think it's him, guys, right? I don't I don't think so, at least. Um he was he extremely upset? Like the only one that was actually upset that she got some type of promotion, bro. Yeah. Not close. Hey. That works. We're all hurting right now. But our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. I hear you, right? But you can't say we're all hurting. No. She and her brother are the ones who are actually hurting a little bit more. And probably the woman with the, the, the you know the fork in the eye. Probably hurt that you. means not opening any of our doors. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. Mm. Mm. That's deep. But valid. Don't lose your head. I'm going with you. But what you're doing isn't smart. Insane. You don't even know which way to go. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. Has he been outside before? Bro, you're supposed to hold the elevator. Mary. Yeah, you definitely should have brought him along with you. All right. This uh this gigantic man, please bring him along with you. I'm too chicken. Yeah, he's not. Don't worry, he's gonna hang out in here. <laughs> he's not going nowhere. I'm bringing him home. All right. Stop, Lucy. Are you mad, young lady? Come back here right away. No, yeah, she's not. All the bodies of the people that tried to get in, but couldn't. Bro, they fossilized. Guys, the scoring is also very good. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, A complete wasteland. The truth. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? <laughs> I love the reference, bro. Um, this, re this is referencing... Uh, ooh, uh, Fallout 4, the Kid in the Fridge mission. Uh, where you have the ability to basically sell him. <laughs> type of thing. You sell him or, or bring him home. And then you find out that his parents are like still are like ghouls, they're still alive and things. Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Hmm. Your fellow aspirants say it was you. Yeah, bro, I don't think he did it to her, bro. For real. I don't think so. Speak. I I didn't didn't do it. I did not. I, uh, 
I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? Kinda, yeah. That's your friend. Yes. Yeah. Violence. It's merely a tool. We use that you use it to bring order to the wasteland. But oh, okay. About to say violence. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I want to thank you. Oh, wait a second. Be your guidance and selfless. For giving me a home. Extremely selfless. I, I had no place in the world. So. And I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. Oh, don't worry. You're good now, bro. You're good. Good boy. And you will be Knight Titus, new squire. Oh, I mean, listen, you made it for now. Keep this in mind. Do you really want to be a squire? No, bro. Listen, what you don't understand is that your friend, she got that promotion. I, I think they were just trying to get rid of her. Okay. Uh, now you, you took her place. So now what? Bro, squires are the first ones to get off consistently. Have you never seen any, anything night oriented? <laughs> yes, bro. You don't want to do that. You should have felt sad for her instead of jealous, bro. Misplaced rage. At least here no one steals your rations. They said I'll still have a place at the Brotherhood. You know who did it? Well, I've narrowed it down to any one of them. The most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood. What's going on here? After which... As wild. Our mission as a denizen of the Enclave okay. has escaped. The Enclave's real? Yes. That he has with him okay. each night in this legion. Guys, the scoring feels so grand. We'll search a section of. Okay. Bro, was that dog meat? You're dismissed, Asper. <laughs> I felt good, didn't it? I felt good. All right, bro, listen. Listen, you know that bag is too big to carry by a regular human without any type of, like, suit of armor, bro. Put that on his back. Guys, don't get me wrong. I think the Brotherhood of Steel are absolutely one of the coolest factions in the universe. Just straight, just cool, right? But I think that they're easily one of the worst, so you don't want to mess with these people under any circumstances. Because um, I never joined them um, on any of my actual playthroughs. Uh, I joined them on one instance, but it was more of a test right to see if they were actually as bad as i speculated um and i did it was on fallout 4 um i went up and i basically robbed the entire armory and i never did any of their missions again basically i was like nah pass because like you know you have to meet them at like a like a police station um in the city basically they're being surrounded by like ghouls and things and uh, you randomly run into them at that very specific police station. And then you do a couple of missions there. Uh, and then they end up pushing you over to uh, like the mothership. I bet it was him. This scene here also reminds me of a, uh, of a, of a brotherhood encampment we encounter in uh, New Vegas. Let's go. What? The junk cannon. <laughs> Guys, for those who, is that Preston Garvey? Listen, is a settlement in need of my help? 
that's not the point though. The point is, okay, um, the junk cannon is probably one of the most interestingly unique uh, like guns to come out of this thing, all right? This realm. It, the name is an interesting name, right? But you find junk on the ground, no matter what it is, right? And you just put it into the cannon and it just constantly shoots junk at people, right? And it deletes them. It's such an interesting thing. Is a godforsaken mutant? Have some respect. As you respect a co worker, you talk. A feral goon can't abide a chicken. If he what? goes for him, we kill him. Okay. So it's a ghoul. <laughs> but like a regular one, a regular ghoul, not like a. Well, I guess they all are. I guess, I guess their regular state would be a feral ghoul. That's a regular state, so uh, a special ghoul, like the ones that we uh, encountered in the Capital Wasteland, um, inside of like a building, and there was a whole lot of these, you know, ghouls that still acted like humans um, inside of uh, the building, and you do missions for them, and you'd, you know, and trade with them and things. <laughs> It's the cowboy. <laughs> it's the cowboy from uh, uh, from before uh, everything happened, right? Because think about this here, guys. Ghouls have the ability to live uh, almost indefinitely, right? Um, so this is someone who experienced the uh, the the how do you say this uh, for for publication uh, for the the booms. Let's say when they dropped, he experienced it. He was the cowboy in the beginning with the rope and the daughter uh, and riding away on, on the horse, bro. That's who this person is. Uh, but all right, let's go. He is in fact still alive. Just the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. You've been invited to a circle jerk? Did you go? But we do have a... Uh, um, like lore references to this actually happening before. Um, if you recall Fallout 4, uh, when you start it, when you start the game, you're basically being sold like access to a vault uh, by some like insurance agent. And then later on and later on, many multiple hundreds of years later, uh, you escape this vault and um, the vault is you're in. And then you find the guy who sold you the vault access in like a hotel, right? much later on yeah so that's the reference that tells us that it's it's uh it's possible should i shoot him <laughs> he is in fact not preston garvey we got a proposition for you they made a run from the enclave okay so oh, everyone is looking for them good goddamn about that bitch molding Moldaver. In California. That's where you from, ain't it? How about we put you right back in that hole? So you can Pedro try. Can have his fun with you for the next 30 years. They do it one last job. That usually means their heart's not in it. Probably never was. Valid. The ghoul. They, they definitely did a great job realizing the ghoul you right in live about action. One thing. We take it as it comes. All right. Oh, this is gonna be good, bro. Crawl out through the fallout, baby. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys. Mm, I love this. Uh, now keep this in mind. I'm again. I just want to kind of reiterate this from the beginning. Um, I'm absolutely a fanboy. So uh, anything that kind of opens up any more like lore cap capabilities, I love it. I love the idea of it. I think it was filmed beautifully, also, and I want to keep pointing that out. Right? Um, I just saw the name Todd Howard pop up here. I don't know how I feel about that, but I mean, I guess he has to be here, bro. Right? Um, honestly, I think he probably had nothing to do with it. Okay, I think he was just here to be like, okay, sure, I like that. But he let, but someone else put this together. All right, because 
it's too good. Does that make any? I'm not trying to be insulting here. I just think it's I think it's entirely too good for Todd Howard to actually have his name uh, placed on here publicly, right? I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. Um, the overall story is going to be amazing. Um, again, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of following anything Brotherhood of Steel oriented, uh, but we'll see how this turns out. Um, I do think that the lead character coming from the vault um, is going to be interesting. She's so naive that I'm not sure um, what can actually transpire, but I'm sure it's just going to be extremely intriguing and interesting to actually encounter, guys, uh, because she's so naive, and the world that she's walking into, in fact, is not. Uh, they have been surviving on the surface for 219 years by this time, all right? Uh, they've learned how to do these things, and I'm not sure that she, coming from the vault, again, with her naivety, right, um, is going to be able to survive up here. She probably will. Right. Um, she, she she has to. This is a this is a story, right? I mean, every single lone wanderer uh, that has ever left the vault um, goes out there completely blind. So you, we do we do end up learning brand new skills and things like that. I get that, but I'm not sure that we have ever left the vault this naive. Maybe three, three was kind of naive. I felt because maybe three. Three was the most. When, when we uh, left the vault, ran into Megaton, um, I don't think we had much. I think they should have probably put Megaton just a, you know, a, little bit, a little bit further away so we could kind of explore it a little bit more uh, before running into the first gigantic settlement. And I do hope that that's not going to happen here, at least, right? Um, but I'm absolutely excited for this. Okay, uh, It kind of makes me want to go back and play uh, Fallout 4 again. Because, all right, keep this in mind, I've never played uh, 76. Uh, I've started it. But I can't say never. I don't play it. Let's just say that. I think I've played maybe 15 minutes of the game. Um, but that was when it first came out, and it was terrible. Thank you, Todd Howard. Okay. Um, so I'm sure it's probably better now. Let's say I'm sure a lot of people that play uh, 76 are going to be like, uh, it's better. You should give it a chance. I don't know, bro. It, listen, I just want Fallout 5 and Skyrim 2. <laughs> give, me, give me a brand new Skyrim, bro. All right. Please. With a different engine. Like, please don't try to bring back the same old engine that has been in every single Bethesda game uh, for some reason within the last, like, two decades. Uh, we, in fact, probably deserve a little bit better because I've purchased now Skyrim on multiple different consoles. I've purchased uh, Fallout 4 on multiple different consoles, uh, Fallout 3, New Vegas, etc. right? So just keep this in mind here, bro. We've given you enough money, Todd Howard. All right, you don't, have, you don't have to milk us dry, all right? And, and there better be a season two to this. <laughs> okay, this is amazing. I appreciate it. I see that Jonathan Nolan had a lot to do with this also, um, and it doesn't surprise me. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I think the script is uh, so far great. Uh, the direction is amazing, right? Um, but right, listen, guys, uh, if you guys want to see the full length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. And uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.